Now you might be wondering why I, a VR channel, am gonna do a studio tour, especially because I don't show my face and you almost never see my studio. Well, number one, you gotta get that coin from sponsorships and affiliate links. Nah, I'm joking. This video isn't sponsored, but hey, brands, I'm single and ready to mingle. But in all seriousness, I'm making this video because I genuinely admire people with really solid aesthetic setups, and I've been really working on mine trying to get it looking nice, which I really needed because my setup right now is trash. All right, guys, here's my setup. Kind of nothing special at all. I mean, look at that. It, it's a tiny desk. I'm trying to fit like two monitors on this tiny desk. I mean, look at this, this 27 inch monitor. It doesn't even fit like where the monitor is supposed to go. It is kind of nice because it does have lots of upward storage. I like having some instruments on top. And of course there's my router I use for my quest. I've got a nice little shelf over here where I have a little bamboo plant and then just some junk and wires. It is not a good setup. I mean, look at that. My microphone sits underneath on a little stand and every time I want to use it, I have to pull it out, put it on top, and then even when I put it on top, there's hardly any space to put it and it's just a disaster. So I mean, yeah, definitely need something new. All right, now that you guys have seen my setup, let me show you real quick what I'm trying to go for. So I'm gonna be getting a Carl B countertop from Ikea. This is actually supposed to be like a kitchen countertop, but we're gonna use it to be the top of my desk. This is actually pretty common, a uh, pretty popular thing to do. We'll put some non-slip pads underneath it um, that way it won't slip because we're going to be putting it on top of these Alex drawers. All right, we're going to put one on either side. I got the ones with the filing cabinet because that's all they have in stock right now. And also because I have a lot of files I need to keep organized. But with one of these, I'm actually going to keep some of the drawers out and I'll show you guys what that looks like in a minute, but I'll keep some of the drawers out so I can put a, a computer under there. So my thought process with this, you know, just the lighter wood, we're going for a birch veneer with black drawers. My thought with this is I kind of fell in love with this aesthetic right here. And I'll show you real quick. I mean, look at this house they have. It's very black, but then as you can see, it's got that light colored wood in contrast to the dark black and grays and I just kind of love how this looks and so I mean any furniture I get now I'm gonna be trying to make it look more and more like this aesthetic just because I love it so much and I mean just look at that oh could you imagine having a bedroom like that so that's my thought process with this get a light colored countertop not too bright um, we didn't go with uh, there was another one that was a little bit lighter can't remember the name of the wood but birch seems just about right just about what I'm looking for and then the dark drawers and then together we'll have this nice looking desk that i'll show you guys in a little bit when we got it done all right guys so we got um computer all taken apart made a giant mess in our room um yesterday I went to ikea we got the top of the new desk right there pretty excited for it but they didn't have the other pieces they were out of stock despite the website saying that they had it in stock which is really frustrating so we're gonna go back right now and get the other two pieces so we can get this finished So this morning we went to Ikea again to get some more, get the rest of the pieces we need for this desk, specifically those Alex drawers. And uh, everything was telling us that they had it back in stock. Turns out yet again, they didn't have it in stock. So uh, we, we asked about it a little bit more. They sold 10 this morning and that's all they had. So they actually have, this is ridiculous. This is, I don't know if this is all Ikea's or just this specific Ikea, but they had over a hundred pieces in inventory. They just couldn't get it down. Supposedly according to US law, they can't get it out of the warehouse because it's in a public area where people are walking. Um, you know, I, we know that's not true. You just have to block off the area for them to be able to pull it off the shelf. But in any case, they said the earliest they could get some down and available for us to take home would be tomorrow. And they don't even have a way for us to put it on hold for us to go pick it up tomorrow. The only thing the guy could do is ship it to us. So I'm not getting those drawers for a couple days. So that right now it's Saturday. They're not going to be able to get it to me until Wednesday, which is pretty upsetting because I wanted to get this set up today. But that also does give me time to do some finish. So I did grab some stuff to do a finish. I'll show you that right now. We got some sandpaper. So we're going to do a polyurethane finish, uh, clear satin because I don't like a 
super glossy look. Um, since it's a new piece of furniture, I don't think we need to oil it before. We'll just go ahead and do this. This is an oil-based thing that we're gonna put in it. Got some sandpaper and stuff to do that all. Um, and then some lemon oil so that at the end we can uh, wipe it down with a 400 grit sandpaper to get rid of any dust. But we'll do two layers of polyurethane and it should be good. I'm gonna sand it before with a 220 grit just to scratch it up a little bit so that the urethane has something to grab onto. And uh, yeah, that's what I'll be working on over the next few days until we get those Alex drawers in. Uh, I did drill in holes so that we could do some cable management. I didn't want to put cables, you know, over the back because I wanted to put some LED light strips all along here. And I figured if cables were going over the back, you wouldn't be able to see the LED lights as well. But I do have these. These are going to go in. I just drilled these. Yeah, that way we'll be able to easily have some wires going through here and it'll look great. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, again, frustrated with Ikea. Don't know if it's all Ikea's or just our Ikea being bad management. It's like they don't want to sell these drawers. Like they have a hundred there. They only pulled out 10 overnight. I mean, they sold out within an hour. We got there within an hour of the place opening. So it's kind of ridiculous. They just literally, they could have fit more. They could have put, pulled out 40 and probably sold them all that day. They just don't feel like selling drawers. I don't know. But anyways, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so when drilling these holes, I didn't really take into account the placement of the drawers um so that was stupid of me don't make that mistake um this one over here this is where the computer is going to end up going and so i can just drill into the drawer set where the computer is going and have the wires feed directly into where the computer is so that one actually works out fine the middle one's fine and then the top one right here that's going to go on the left side of the desk that one's the problem because that's smack right in the middle of where the drawer set is going to end up going so i could kind of do the same thing drill into here into the drawer set and then out the drawer set to do the wires but i decided ultimately to drill another hole right here that's in line with the middle one and you see if i zoom out a bit so that um cable management's a little bit easier i'll just put something right here on the other side so that they're connected and then those will feed into obviously where that one is eventually this one um not sure what i'm gonna do with that one I'll cover it up somehow, put um, one of those things in. It's gonna be behind the monitor, so no one's really gonna see it anyways. Um, my wife was saying maybe put like some sort of vase that fits in here perfectly with the plant coming out of it. That could look really cool actually. So I'm actually not too upset about it, but you know, think through everything. I, I wish I had the drawers because if I had the drawers here in front of me, I would have been thinking about that. So I'm just gonna blame Ikea for this. <laughs> All right, we finished two layers of a poly varnish. For each layer, I did a quick light sand with 220 grit sandpaper and then a tack cloth to wipe off all the dust and then I just put on a light layer of varnish wiping off all the excess and now that the second layer is done I'm gonna go do a wet sand with 400 grit sandpaper to really smooth it out get it really smooth to the touch but it's looking and feeling great already Okay guys, so after several days, we finally have the uh, Ikea drawers, the Alex drawers. Um, so I'll be able to put those together. What I've been doing is, since I needed to work and I got rid of my other desk, I uh, kind of put the desk up on some speakers here. And uh, that's what I've been doing. So I've been able to get like a little bit of a setup, but I'll show you um, what the rest of it looks like in a little bit once we get these drawers set up. All right, so I'm almost done with one of the drawer sets but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna have to do because this one is gonna be a full set of drawers, just like that. But then the other one, I'm actually going to only leave this top drawer right here. I already tested it because the computer will fit in. It fits under two drawers, but then I won't have any room to access any of these buttons or anything here. So I'm only gonna do one drawer. And then in the back, there's a wall there. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut out some holes in this wall back here. You don't really have a saw to do that kind of thing. So I'm gonna end up using just this right here. This is the same thing I used to drill holes into the actual desk. I think I'll just drill like a three by, I don't know, six square of holes and <laughs> You know, hopefully that works out in some way. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know. All right, we got the desk finished. Like we planned, we have the Carlby countertop sitting on top of those two Alex drawer sets. I used some non-slip pads in between the top and the drawers, which I'll link to down below, and everything else, by the way, I'll link to down in the description. As planned, we left the drawers out and drilled holes into the back of this set so that we could have the computer cords going out the back and so we could have some airflow going so the computer doesn't overheat. In the inner side of each drawer, I have a mount for putting headphones. Here on the left, we have studio headphones for audio mixing 
gaming. And then on the right, I have my gaming headphones for those very rare times that I play flat screen games. For cable management, I mounted a power outlet to the underside of the desk and then added these cable management tracks. It doesn't look very good from underneath, but it keeps the cables hidden and organized. On the actual desk itself, I decided to stay with just two monitors. I originally wanted to add a third monitor, but if I had a third monitor, I really wouldn't have any desk space for anything else. My main monitor is an Acer Nitro 27 inch 2K monitor, which I've been very satisfied with. My second monitor is just a random monitor I picked up from a thrift store. If you want to get an extra monitor, I highly recommend checking out your local thrift stores. I got this one from Goodwill for less than 20 bucks. It's nothing amazing, but having a second monitor makes my work so much easier. On top of my main monitor, I have this HD webcam. I mostly use this for live streams to get that silhouette effect, but it is also really useful for meetings and other things. Over here on the left, I have this little shelf where I keep my bamboo plant and a phone stand that I use on occasion. Underneath the shelf is my audio interface, which connects my mic to my PC. It's a Behringer interface that's really cheap and works great. Couldn't recommend it enough. Next to the interface, I have a USB outlet that's connected to the PC, so if I ever need to plug in a thumb drive or anything, I have easy access right here, and it looks great just as like it's part of the desk. It looks awesome. Also here on the left, I have this mic boom arm, which makes it really easy to record audio for a video. Instead of having to pull up my mic from under the desk with my like I had to with my old setup, I can just pull the arm in and start recording. It's great. This boom arm was only about 60 bucks good ones can run $100 or even $200, but this one, it works just as great as those. It looks great, it hides the springs and everything, and it can hold a ton of weight. I'm super satisfied with it. The mic itself is a Rode NT1A, which is a decently priced condenser microphone. It's what I use for almost all of my videos, and it sounds great without needing any effects. Back at the center of the desk, I have just two simple speakers that I picked up from Amazon. Nothing to write home about. They sound great, and they get the job done. Same thing with the mouse and keyboard. I'm not a big keyboard enthusiast, I just use whatever works. I really like this one from Razer because it lights up and has some added buttons to control the volume, which is really convenient. And the mouse itself, again, it's just a basic mouse off of Amazon. It, it just gets the job done. I'm not picky. I have both the mouse and keyboard atop of this mat, which helps to protect the desk's wood, as well as add some more black color to the desk, helping me achieve the aesthetic that I'm really going for. I like this one specifically because it has a non-slip texture underneath it, meaning that it won't slide around super easily. Finally, on the back, I have some LED lights that can change colors. I can control the color with this remote or with the phone app, and having those lights is a very subtle detail that really elevates the desk, in my opinion. I absolutely love having them. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think of the desk? Did I miss anything essential to have the perfect setup? I, I, I mean, I think at some point I do want to upgrade my mouse, and I also need to upgrade my, my chair. I just have this crappy chair that I found. But for now, this is the setup that I have, and it's a huge improvement over what I had before. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Also, if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. You'll be helping me to be able to pay for all this crap that I bought and more crap. So, you know, help, help a brother out. Go on and subscribe.